Hello everybody, Texura here, and this is Hearthstone. Now, I've played quite a bit of Hearthstone, never actually bothered recording it, because it's more of something that I just do for fun. It's something I do to relax myself and just unwind at the end of the day. Recently, the whole Gnomes vs. Goblins thing came out, and I saw an interesting opportunity. So... I really enjoyed the uh, the Noxramas challenges, especially the heroic. They were really interesting and fun. But one card in particular from the Gnomes vs. Goblins made me rethink one of those challenges. So what I've done here is I have assembled a deck, this is a mage, with absolutely zero rare cards. So I've got Ice Lance, which is just a common. I've got Elven Archer, which is a standard card. Everybody has it. Stone Tusk Boar, Voodoo Doctor, Frost Bolt. Everybody has that. Bluegill Warrior. Two Iron Beak Owls. Two Arcane Intellects. I like the gold cards because they're pretty. Two Frost Novas. Uh, two Ice Barriers. Two Farseers. Two Wolf Riders. Two Fireballs two polymorphs, and the one card that made me do all of this, the Antique Healbot. So let me go and show you exactly how this goes down. So the first time when I beat Heroica Mayaxna, I did some crazy thing with the Farseers. What I ended up doing was arranging it so that she only had six damage on her, her side of the board, including one uh, Nerubian egg. And I was just healing six damage every turn. And to beat her the first time, I spent like 40 turns in the game, beyond that even, just healing myself constantly, waiting for her to die of fatigue. You know, throwing fireballs at her when I have the chance, using my Pyroblast every single turn to just deal one damage to her face, whatever I could get away with. And I barely managed to scratch through. With the Antique Healbot, that strategy becomes so ridiculously easy, you can pull it off fairly reliably with zero rare cards. And I'm making this video, in spite of the fact that I generally Dana. don't do this Hearthstone, I'm making this video specifically to prove what I've done. You asked for it. So, okay, this is a fairly okay starting hand. I'm actually going to pitch the Wolf Rider because I'd like to make sure I get a heal bot if I can uh, as soon as possible. Well, Polymorph is pretty good, too. Because there are things that can really mess you up, and Polymorph is a great defense against that. Uh, no point in summoning the vo Voodoo Doctor. Okay, nothing to bounce. Okay, now these Haunted Creepers are very handy to have there. I'm going to want to kill one of them. Definitely. So I'm actually not going to use the Bluegill for that, because I want to make sure I still have him handy. But if I can just fill up her board with nothing but one damage things, that's a really strong position for me to be in. And, ooh, Wolf Rider. That's pretty good. So let's go ahead and just pop another one of those. So, assuming she doesn't drop anything ridiculous like that... I would have been in a great spot. I would have just been able to, like, frostbolt one of these. And then it's pretty much GG from that point. But now I actually have to deal with that. So, ah, the antique heal bot. Let's see. Why don't I actually go ahead and sacrifice the bluegill on that? And prep one of these guys so that the next turn I can split it off into two. Perfect. Okay, so this is pretty much GG. I've, I've won at this point. 
there's very little she'll be able to do in the upcoming turns. So right now, all I really have to do is I can poke that, fill her board, and the AI doesn't know how to handle this. Uh, let's actually go ahead and just Wolf Rider. So now I can start applying beatdowns. Okay, so it looks pretty bad, but it's really not, because I'm only taking 7 damage per turn, and I can easily restore 8. Now, I can heal myself a little bit with the Voodoo Doctor, but I don't need to. So let's drop the Stone Tusk Boar and go ahead and throw that into your face. After that, I really won't need the Stone Tusk anymore, so I might just dump it. You know, throw it into like this or something just to get rid of it. Because at this point, a lot of these are dead now dead cards. I don't need a lot of them in my hand. And there are other cards I would like to have access to. So... Yeah, Frost Nova, for example. Uh, Frost Nova actually could be handy. But I don't think I'm going to use it just yet. Okay, and... Let's go ahead and just pop her in the face with that. So, this is getting me to some very interesting points. Um, I can now... I'm now at the point where I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 cards in my hand, and I really don't want to have to burn cards that might be useful. So I'm actually going to drop the Frost Nova just to freeze all of them. Job's done. So that way I'm still drawing a card. Now, I'll eventually get to the point where I might be dropping, say, the Iron Beak, because I don't need that anymore. But I'll be dropping the Iron Beak and then blowing it up. Because, hey, why not? Okay, let's actually do it this way. Well, I'll drop that. Drop the boar, because I don't need the boar anymore. And then blow you up, because I really don't need you. And that's important, because if I don't... If I have more than two minions on the field, I'm going to have something on the board. And she's going to throw some of these into that, and then summon something bigger. But when I have nothing on the board, and she has a full board, the AI doesn't know how to do anything other than just attack my face. So she's going to start blowing up cards fairly soon. And I'm just going to be healing faster than she'll than uh, I take damage. Okay. Blow that up cuz I don't need it and just deal another point of damage. Now, the reason why I don't want my cards to blow up is because it's actually faster this way. I could be throwing the Wolf Rider at her every turn and dealing three damage. But this way I might draw something like, oh, I don't know, a Fireball. I think I'd rather get that at some point. I mean, okay, in the long run, yeah, sure, after two turns of doing that nonsense, I could have done more damage. But this is kind of fun. Okay, um, let's go ahead and Wolf Rider. Yeah, now her cards are starting to blow up, and mine aren't yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I am going to blow up a card. I could have been more careful about that. Okay, My so hand is too full. Ah, a polymorph. Well, speaking of a polymorph, I might as well just throw that down like that. Now, I don't 
need as many cards in my hand as I currently have. So that was one card I just blew up. Um, if I Arcane Intellect... Okay. So I don't need you. you do that. And we can deal that damage. And One yeah, let's shot. go ahead and blow this up. So, yeah, I mean, you can see I can pretty much just mess around all I like here. Now, these ice barriers are really good in here as well, because that's like a three mana and takes the place of the heal bot. So, on this turn, I can be a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more rushy. So... Let's do that, and actually, Arcane Intellect. One shot, one shot. Sure. Oh, I lost one. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and drop another Ice Barrier, because I'd rather get rid of that. And then... Start dumping cards that I don't want to keep. One shot, one Ready to ride. Taste my steel. One shot. One kill. Archer versus Archer. an ice lance. See, we can combine that with our frostbolt now and deal some damage, but I think I may want to hold off until I get uh, a little bit more. They got another ice lance and only six cards left in my deck, so... All right, fireball. Ready to ride. Taste my steel. I think that might be pretty much GG there. There you go, a no rare victory over Mayaxna in the heroic Noxramas challenge. Uh, just had to prove it could be done. Well, if you enjoyed any part of this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Texera, and I will see you next time. Bye.